Wow. Thursday, finally. Finally it's, Thursday. It's getting to the weekend. Yeah. And uh, lots of people are getting a good feeling and a good vibe about it. And this weekend, lots of public holidays. Of course. The uh, long weekend. The, the long, long weekend, Easter weekend. The long Easter break or mm -hmm. Easter weekend. It's going to be nice. Very yes, nice. Yes. And we're kind of excited because once again we're here and hopefully you will be part of the journey to the weekend with us. Or oh, is it the other way around? Always, we will be the part of your journey to the weekend. Exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> There's always something funny going on with MM. I don't know what she's laughing about. Memo. Funny. She look, but she looking good though. She looking I, like, really good. I don't good. get it. Funny. Yeah, I'm What's just, funny about me? You, know, you, you just, you know, you were laughing. So I was wondering, you know, if there was a private joke going on or... Yeah. <laughs> well, don't pay attention to me. Hi, guys. Good morning. Uh, uh, of course, we're going to pay it's attention morning. to you. It's a morning. So you'd expect that people should, you know, be in their zone. So that's what's happening right here. Oh, I'm yeah. in my zone. Yeah. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. All right. She's so it's 6 a.m. It's 6 a.m. And we, we just need to get the show on the road. Of course. And uh, we know that it's going to be a special day. And we promise to make every second of the three hours coming your way on screen worth it your while. Yeah, and of course, if you have to leave your TV screens, though, you can watch us live at tvcontinental.tv and on Facebook. Check us out. And of course, uh, use the comment, use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria when you're making comments on the show. Very important. My name is Titi Lyo Oyinson. And I'm Yomi Okwe. Straight to this uh, morning's highlights, we kick off the day with peace and love mm. from uh, the man called Playboy Vin. <laughs> when a song is called Peace and Love, <laughs> makes you wonder. <laughs> Birthday shout outs, always fun, always great, always fun. It's Arts Thursday, and guess what? We're going to be exhibiting uh, the sketches of Olisameka Crystal, the hyper realist uh, pencil artist. You should watch out for that. There are quite a few of those out there that yeah. are coming to the surface these days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seems like, uh, you know, a lot of talent is being appreciated, finally. Uh, Ayo in Motion will also set us in motion with a musical performance on the show this morning. I can't wait to see that. Then, of course, we'll be having a book chat today. We have Olubumia Bodari Talabi. Now, she has a new book called Why Do You Wash Your Hands? It's uh, an interesting read for the kids, obviously. Yeah. But uh, it's, a, it's a really, really great thing that people are putting out children's books more and more these days, especially Man, in Nigeria. Yes, indeed. And check it out. The Caveman Band will be giving us a live musical performance. That's something you should, uh, you should look out for. Caveman Band. Looks like something out of a Balamila show. Yeah, well, hey, we have DJ Neptune turning up on the show today. Now, don't miss this. We're going to be giving you some of the juice. We have to find out what he's been up to lately. Should be an interesting one. All in all, so many great reasons for you to stay close to your TV right now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Holy exactly. Thursday today. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Holy Holy Thursday, and uh, tomorrow, of course, is Good uh, Friday. Good Friday. Mm. Uh, it's a public holiday, like you said. So Friday morning, man, yeah. that's a weekend. That's like a week a of public weekend. holidays. Yeah. <laughs> so when you add it to two days, ah, they just give Tuesday. Just know that that's gone. It's always been like that. Yeah. You know, it's always been like that for Easter. Everybody just looks forward to Easter because of that long weekend. Yeah. A lot of people put events today, tomorrow. Mm. You know, because they know people are not waking up early in the morning tomorrow. You know, a lot of people are planning stuff. But it does kind of feel like the whole essence of Easter hasn't hasn't really been out there. Not like, so in, when I was younger, by now you would have been seeing, you know, um, the, all the movies about the Stations of the Cross. And, you know, all those movies would have started playing and you start seeing crosses depends on everywhere. You are when we are watching oh, yeah. Beyonce, Beachella, I will this all the cross between you. <laughs> it's the kind of movies that are coming out. Like if, so there are some people, mm -hmm. I think it's all about your, maybe where you are, your environment. You had to, that environment had to be created for you. Okay. Probably around your homes, your aunties, your uncle, they had to mm. create that environment. Mm. So it's all about creating the kind of environment you want, maybe for your kids or something. Mm. You know, it's still, it's still in the mood, you know, the, the, the Pope was recently where he, where he was kissing the feet of uh, some other leaders from some other religions mm. and everybody went ah it's it's not a new thing like today normally holy thursday what, what catholics would do is that the priest will come the bishop or whatever and wash the feet oh, yeah. of 
some select people. Just like to Jesus did, yes, did uh, for his disciples. Jesus washing the feet of his disciples. Mm. I know the mother disciples said, look, man, just just bath, just, just wash bath. me full. <laughs> I like, look, you took a bath. You don't need, it was symbolic, yeah? yeah. But, you know, I, like, I, I think it's about the environment. Bechela has... I'm actually going to take, I'm actually like going to take that into consideration, especially for the kids. Maybe I should just... Create the environment. Yeah, maybe I'll specifically download some yeah, yeah. children's versions yeah. of the Easter story and stuff True. like that and, and get I'm, them to watch any, it. Because any plans for the Holy Thursday? Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one, I remember no. like Bechela. Like, you came up, ah, <laughs> shiny. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that uh, she's blinging to me. Ah, did, oh, did, well, did you did you see? Did you okay. but, but well, the see? truth of the matter is, guys, you guys are all raving about um, movies that should be trending. The Easter GOT has taken over, so oh wow, wow. okay. okay. <laughs> no, this uh, we have to save this Game of Thrones <laughs> conversation for Maybe when tomorrow. we know the episode is coming out. <laughs> right. Welcome to this, uh, of course, the traffic updates here on Wake Up Nigeria. This Thursday morning, you know how Thursdays are usually always light? And of course, I've got my crew over in the kitchen there. Yeah, hey, guys. That's, that's quite true. Thursday. I like the way he called us his crew. There's hardly my backup, my, my backup team. There's hardly <laughs> traffic on Thursday, so yeah, it's not. Unfortunately, Ijesha mm. Papa is on lockdown. Yeah. How will you it's unfortunately tell us at the first thing? Oh, you no, I just need to let you guys know. <laughs> there is actually traffic. So let's not get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some, some areas typically would have traffic, you know, any morning of the day. So, uh, as usual, uh, most people, of course, will be used to it and will know exactly what to do. But um, on a general level. Uh, we've got, um, as usual, usually light traffic on Thursday mornings, but um, we'll also take the areas where we have some busy roads. I also just... have some tweets here. Um, okay. I have one. It says, uh, <laughs> I think someone tweeted that uh, Abule Egba was free, and someone replied and says, Abule Egba Bawo. Like, <laughs> how? Like, how? Like, so it's, it seems like uh, someone tweeted some, you know, information that might not be exactly true. And yeah, you know, that's, that's what Mike says. That's yeah. what Mike so says about... At home. And yeah. just tweet. Yeah, it's really crazy. Um, so who just sit down, man? Did you say... Then also, okay. we have... Um, um, okay, so there's heavy okay. traffic from yeah. OPIC to MFM this morning. Wow. Mm -hmm. So if you are on your way to the Ibaim, Lagos Ibadan Expressway, there's a bit of... There's, there's heavy traffic, not a bit. Mm. There's really heavy traffic there. So you might want to... Uh, and that's probably because a lot of people <laughs> are going, planning to go home for Easter. Mm. Yeah, you know? oh, so yeah. So because there's a holiday tomorrow, yeah. you should anticipate that a lot of people will be traveling mm, home, true. going Very out true. of Lagos. So that means the airports might just be jammed today as well. A lot of flights will be overbooked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah a lot of All right, so uh, let's, let's also yeah. look at, um, from Ojota, if you're heading to the island, uh, Ikorodu Road. Uh, so the Ghani Fayomi Park area is kind of free. But once you uh, arrive at Ojota, as, as usual, it's quite busy. Again, because of the bad spot, there's a really bad spot at Ojota bus stop there on Ikorodu Road. Uh, the road is almost broken in half, actually. And uh, so it's really bad at that spot. So you'll probably be spending about 20, 25 minutes at the Ojota bus stop. But once you pass there, it's free. It's free all the way. Then it gets a little bit busy at Kane Village. A little bit busy at Maryland, not so bad at Maryland for this time of the morning. And then after Maryland is free again, all the way to uh, Anthony. It's a bit busy. It's not all green on Ikorodu Road, just a little bit busy, but it's not red. So uh, if you're on the road, you can go, uh, you can have a smooth sail, uh, relatively smooth sail. After Anthony is free, it's free all the way to Obanikoro. Obanikoro is free, nice and green right now. Palm Groove, all across, all until you get to Onikman. You know, you know Onikman now, our boys. Uh, so <laughs> on the road, it's a bit busy at that point. But right after Onikman, it's free again. Fade is free, and then oh no, Fade is not free. So it gets busy from Fade, all the way to Jibo. It's busy at this time again because of people traveling like 
um, like you guys observed. Mm -hmm. uh, so people traveling, Jibo is busy right now, so yeah. it's tight right now. Yeah, a lot, all the traveling. commercial buses that do interstate are probably, you know, yeah, jammed. By yeah. Now. When, when, so, when, when you said uh, Onikma, our boys, <laughs> he just made me remember <laughs> one incident. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I and my guys, our boys, we stop <laughs> at Onikma and <laughs> we come out of the car. And, and Alka just stops the floor, pa. And they actually want to rob us. Uh, but the guy wants to open the door and come out, and he's finding the door hard to open. And my guy goes to help him open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Opens the door. No way. First thing I welcome the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm are, we, are we still? I'm sorry for laughing, but man. Are we still on the traffic report? Right? We're still on I think we're still report. on traffic report. We're still on traffic report. <laughs> I have uh, one tweet yeah. here. It says traffic along Aja VGC Road. Yeah, it's is heavy. Cray cray, yeah. and the person says Lagos are hello. <laughs> and there's actually a video of bumper to bump, bumper to fender yeah. traffic uh, right there on Twitter. So, uh, Yummy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm not in VGC at the moment. I'm still on the mainland okay. uh, right now. But uh, so Ojo Elegba is, is, is busy. I don't know why, but it's quite busy. It's actually quite tight. Um, don't forget that there are a lot of those transit companies. Yeah, right. Right, Ojo transit companies, so, yeah. transit companies at Ojo Elegba bus stop. Yeah. So it looks like all the major bus stops are busy, but the highways are free. Yeah. Mm. So highways are free, major bus stops are busy. So try to navigate. Um, on this Thursday, so anywhere you suspect that, you know, so places like uh, Berga, uh, places like Jibowu, Ojolaba, and all those places, the major bus stops where people are yeah, traveling out of traveling will be busy. But uh, generally speaking, uh, the roads are free, the highways are free, and you should get where you're going uh, within an hour or two. Uh, that's what I've got here. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can if we can take a couple of other tweets no, while I uh, make my way to the kitchen we can't for take, we can't take. Well, some. Uh, <laughs> <coffee. laughs> without for traffic, without anyway, there are still um, updates on the um, Lagos Ibadan Expressway traffic. Mm -hmm. It's quite a, um, heavy traffic uh, yeah. on that on the road. So mm -hmm. on the expressway, just in case you're it's not like taking it. I'm in Fridam Mas. That's why it's traffic related. Yeah. <laughs> it's traffic related. So there was traffic happening when. This yeah. Happened. So this, okay, although it was in the so, night and all that, so yeah. we just back the car. What about your center? So as the guy just opened the door for the guy, so the guy was struggling to open struggle the, door. With the door. And another person had opened from the other side to corner in front. So we, as we just saw this something, eh, man, we're just looking at this something like, ah, Omo, the way this thing's happening now, something's looking like something's going to happen. Oh. So some of our guys already picked up. So the way one guy picked up, I just joined. So this guy that opened the door, he just received wounds. <laughs> Okay, what is it? Next to the guy, your brother, they go and poke his toe. Ah, my man, was serious. Okay. So, so he's he had bad. reacted he's before he saw the gun. Yeah, yes. No, what I mean is that you, you, you might imagine you trying to help somebody open mm. the door. Yeah. And then you receive a slap. <laughs> and the guy was shocked. Like, <laughs> I, I just have helped what? you. What yeah, was but I don't understand really. What was he thinking? Really? <laughs> He was well, trying to help somebody. So anyways, somebody. talking about <laughs> slaps. I don't want to say that. Talking, talking about, about slaps. slaps. Yes. <laughs> In response to, you know, all of the. Um, Ish, um, situations, go, the ongoing situations with SARS. Mm -hmm. um, our head of police complaint response unit, Abayo Mishogunle, recently tweeted. Mm. Yeah, because okay. it's actually his tweet actually caused an uproar mm -hmm. on social media, and everyone was going agog. Mm -hmm. So I actually want to quote the tweet so that I am not misunderstood. Yeah. yeah. So here. He said, okay, Lagos State will become if police chiefs in Lagos do more of this. And then he goes, for now. Don't go and be speaking Queen's English, English <laughs> with them on the road. Wow. For proper understanding, talk to them in, in pidgin. pidgin. Another way to avoid kasala. Wow. Okay. So I so, saw that Queen's English was trending and I was wondering why Queen's English is the reason Queen's English is trending. He does. He, wow. does, he does have a point. He has a point. All right, communication okay. is key. Let me okay. tell you. Let me tell you, key. let me tell you what I do. Let me tell you what I do. Let me tell you what I do when I approach police yeah. in a car and I'm driving, right? Mm -hmm. Especially when it's really late at night, mm -hmm. right? So I'm approaching and of course they're doing the torchlight mm. in your eye. <laughs> so once that is going on, I slow down. Mm -hmm. Then I ensure that because sometimes they come on both sides. <laughs> sometimes on one side. Then my windows are down. Mm. Hey, how far now? Yeah. So once you get once yeah. you get in that mood, they yeah. calm down. Mm. Yeah. Right? But when you say, what's this about? And then your the English is flowing. They say, they say Parkwell. Yeah. Parkwell. <laughs> 
then there is no document that they're not going to ask you for. Oh, like, they yeah. would ask you for stuff. So you wanted to show be yeah, educated. So this actually reminded me of one time. Yeah, I was, I was with my mom. So she was driving. And then when she sees them, she's like, okay, the black mm, are on the road again. Mm. So, like, she, you know, she stops. Like, hey, she stops. And, and she's like, okay, hello, good evening. Mm. And, and, and me, I'm like... <laughs> it's you that will make them yeah, mad. Yeah, and then they will not look at you. I do not look at you. And she just gives me the eye. If the devil wants to use you, you are not going to get out of the car. <laughs> so you are not going to allow this man keep all. me here today. You yeah. better get out of the car. Yeah. And I just laugh. I'm you like, know, you know, that, that is yeah. very, that, like you said, communication is key. When you yeah. want to prove that, you see, so at times, so yes, we know that at times they exceed they go over over mm -hmm. the line. Mm -hmm. But then, you see, there's no problem with being nice with them. Exactly. And, and, yeah. I, and I dare tell you, see, most of the time, when you are nice, almost almost all the time, mm. they'll be calm with you. Yeah. Very calm. Yes, yes. There's never been a time when I've said, how far now? Mm. Or, like, I've never identified myself as press. Yeah. Or, yeah. I've never, I once I say, how far now? Mm. They don't say, eh, you know, they, they feel like you're, we're together, yeah. like you understand I, our I work always, or whatever. I always so. try to think about how they feel being on the road at those times of the night. I feel like it's a, a very lonely job. Mm. I feel like they're cold. In, most, in many cases, they're actually hungry. <laughs> yeah? No, 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 no. I'm saying you're <laughs> on the road <laughs> at night. I'm thinking these guys they're are hungry. on the road at night, right? How do you know? How do you know they're hungry? I'm saying, I'm saying it, I'm saying it now. I'm saying it now <laughs> that you see them like, and then and they're coming and then they're suddenly, they're then, they're suddenly then suddenly, they're they're suddenly they stop. Uh -huh. There's something they stop you. You know, this is right. at 4, 3, 4 a.m. in the morning. See, I'm going to stop you there. Because this morning, <laughs> because this morning, three, just on my morning. way to the office this morning, uh -huh. I saw a police car uh -huh. stop right in front of these people that sell, these um, um, tr roadside traders okay. that sell um, Agbo, all okay. this, um, yeah. Agbo, this um, Agbo yeah. al alcoholic Agbo stuff. I don't want to yeah. mention yeah, names. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Stop there. So... Before you go on talking about how hungry and oh. how you know yeah, starved cold. and cold, cold. you they said are. cold and hungry, it's but how do you know? They, they're in the middle of the road. Yeah, but, they they know. yeah but then they can also afford <laughs> jackets, right? Really, <laughs> really, <laughs> mm, jackets. You're going to jackets. No, no, but but right. I, I do, I do think, I don't think it's okay to say they are cold and hungry and all of that. Exactly. Okay, I try to. Okay, okay. When I said, I said, I want to put myself, I want to put myself in their shoes. If I was on the road, I, all I would want is just some company. So as Yomi approaches now, okay, so, yes, and so, he greets me. So interacting with like, motorists is, is, is the no, company no, that you need? No, that's the thing. Like, oh, motorists. I'm on the road. Can I land, I want to land. I want to land. Can I land? Can I land? Let's stop can this I car. Land. Let's stop this car. <laughs> yeah. Let's what? just... <laughs> My, like, can I like land? Sense? In a land, <laughs> I will feel a little bit better <laughs> if someone respected the fact that Let's as just... you approach me, yeah. you actually treat me with kindness. Oh, that wow. is where exactly. I'm going. Exactly. That is where I'm going. Is, that, is the police Being thinking treated... about my own state of mind? Yo, or they don't know the that thing. me to have The average motorist <laughs> is tired. <laughs> The average motorist is in a hurry. Where I'm going is being treated with kindness also means that I will reciprocate exactly, with kindness. Exactly. So okay. respect, respect and kindness to exactly. people. Exactly. Please give them a little bit of respect and kindness and you'll be on your way. I speak pigeon. I speak pigeon. Wow. Well, you don't have to speak pigeon, but just be... Mm. Just understand no. the flow. Mm. If you're in the car with me, I can. Welcome back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria now for our first musical performance of the day. Vin Pius, popularly known as Pretty Boy, Pretty Boy Vin. He is a fast writing, uh, rising rather, artist, uh, and um, he's with Credible Teens Award. He has a Credible Teens Award to his name. Now, Pretty Boy was brought to light early this year, and he gained some real love from his fans because of his uh, freestyle song, Slow Wine. That was with El Roman, right? Yeah. Am I right? Okay, now he has our love on Wake Up Nigeria because uh, I know that he's going to give a mad performance right now. <laughs> yeah, but freestyling, uh, did you learn it from somewhere? Did it something that just came naturally to you? It's just it's something I just do for love, yeah. You just do for love? That's yeah, all. for okay. love of music and stuff. Okay, you've been doing it for a while before you were discovered? Yeah, for like two years now. Two years? Yeah. Okay, all right. So you're going to take this somewhere, yeah? Sure. Where definitely. do you want to be with this freestyling? Hmm? Around the world. Around the world. Yeah, okay, all right. Someone else that's aiming for a Grammy. <laughs>
Yeah, and uh, I can't wait to see what your performance is going to be All like. Right. Now, he's going to be performing something titled Peace and Love. I love the title already. Yeah. Let me let like... you do your thing. All right, thank you. <laughs> Now we promised we will be right back and we do everything possible to keep to our word. Yes, indeed. And uh, our words are here to give you the very best of uh, entertainment. And we are not done making your day. Two more hours to go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Looking to, forward to something really nice. You need to nice. stay close. You mm. need to stay right there watching us today. This is the breakfast show of all breakfast shows. We have everything that there is to offer on TV. Now, my name is Titi Laya Onis. And I'm Yomi Okwe. Take us with you everywhere you go. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Stream with us. Yeah, stream with us on tvcontinental.tv and on Facebook. You can check us out at TVC Connect. Mm. Send any comments using the hashtag uh, Wake Up Nigeria on Instagram, Twitter and on Facebook. Yes, indeed. Very important hashtag, but you can also download our mobile app from any of the online stores where you buy apps from app stores. I mean, they got app store. <laughs> As yeah. it really is. Well, there are only two major app stores. Uh, no, there are actually more now. So well, we just don't want to promote it. Two major. <laughs> okay, let's, let's leave it at that. But hey, we're all over the place when it comes to uh, our app. We're always right there. You can always download it and take us wherever you're going to right now. We yeah. need to tell people what we're doing for the rest of the show. Yes, indeed. And of course, uh, we're going to be exhibiting the works of Olisameka Crystal Aduaka. Now, he's a hyper-realistic pencil artist from right here in Lagos. Yes, indeed. We also have Ayo in Motion. He'll be launching uh, our second music performance later on. Uh, it's Book Chat Thursday. Our author is Olubumi Abodemi Talabi. Now, she is the author of Why Do You Wash Your Hands? That's a kid's book. Mm. And uh, she's going to be telling us about this. I think it's also International Wash Your Hands Day or something. Or <laughs> hand okay. washing day. Hand or, washing day. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. And of course, we have the Caveman Band. We're going to be digging it right on, right on the show today. And uh, it's going to be live, so you need to stay close. All right, now DJ Neptune is going to be gracing our couch later on for a chit chat. All right, so a yeah. quick one. I just, oh. um, still on this Omotola issue from two days ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's been a big fight on Twitter between Segalink, the popular Segalink, active. Yeah, yeah, the yes, activist. And, and OBS. And OBS as a question. Yeah. I don't know why, but. Okay, no, what happened? Now? Okay, this, was, this is what yeah. happened. She, she referred, now, she referred to a statement he made about four years back. Attacking 2015, her. 2015, yeah. attacking her and giving the notion that she would solicit for political positions and clout. You understand? Mm -hmm. So about the same thing that Motola was being accused of. Yes. So she said he accused me of using my body to solicit for this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. like it's and she called him out directly. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's where it started. Yeah, so that's, I mean, it just degenerated into, and just got it, worse it, and worse. It tweet fight, like, <laughs> and he even, he even, I think he even tried to send her a DM yeah. to just douse, so douse and, just, and then she put out yes. the DM, yes. which, was, which I thought was a bit inappropriate. Because he was trying to, you know, mend those fences. He mm. was, he apologized for, mm. you know, what he said, mm. and he was trying to make up for it. No, did and, he? You know, did, that's kept, wonderful. He kept on going, and it was, he kept on dragging and dragging, yeah. and a lot of people kept on, the few, exactly, you know, that's the vultures thing. kept on eating on, you, you know, feasting on. And it, it got it. worse. I think she was already upset. Yeah. Like, uh, maybe from you know the back and forth, so she just kept attacking, uh, which is why she also put out the DM, hmm. and you know she started saying something like, uh, I think the DM was like, um, I wasn't referring to you. Mm. That's in his own DM, mm. and then yeah. she was like, Don't patronize me, you sinister, dishonorable fellow. What? 
blocked. Wow. And then she put that out. That was mm. a, so. This was her response Goodness to me. his DM. Yeah. Sure, and then sure. she screenshot it and put it out. And put it out. Uh, and when you start saying things like sinister, dishonorable, like it means that you're really angry. Angry. Exactly. And for someone like that, former presidential candidate, it's not something that you should really. But we love her. Yeah, but you know, the people have. You see, that's the thing. When it comes to both of them, both, both of them have championed a new course yeah. for Nigeria and at different levels. Yeah. And look, we, we, we would have, there will always be in families everywhere, there will always be disagreements. You know, I just feel like the way it was handled, was I love both of them. Yeah. I love both of them. I don't love them less. I feel like they should mend fences. But even if they do, they should put new champion in a new course for Nigeria. That's yeah. what we need. Mm. I love both and of talking them. Talking about Shogun Wosunya, I really, I mean, what he's used, I mean, he's one of those frontliners on social media who's using social media as a tool for change. I'm telling you. Yes, you know, and it's amazing. I mean, this is someone that if you have a police issue. I'm telling and you. And you even send a DM. A DM. He, he sorts it out. He's on the matter. Exactly. Yes. I mean, he's like somebody who call him and I'm approaching a... A, 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 yeah, checkpoint. a checkpoint, and somebody calls yeah. him, I just say, and the phone is on. I just say, hey, police, uh, Segalik is here. <laughs> and he says, yeah. why do you have to do that? <laughs> yeah, good one. Welcome back to the show. It's called Wake Up Nigeria. And if you're a lover of good food, this is your favorite part of the show, yeah? Yeah? Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In the kitchen with me today is Chef Ayola of AY Subs. Hi. And as usual, she's here to sharpen your culinary skills. Yes, I am. To do justice <laughs> to the Ewa going. We are about to uh, embark on this morning. Yes. <laughs> so this morning, guys, we are making Ewa going with plantains and hay croutons. Yes. And on your screen right there are the ingredients. While Ayola takes us through the Hague croutons. <laughs> no, I don't even know why you say it like that. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just making just of the croutons. It's so interesting because Titi just mentioned that, you right. know, our croutons bread, mm. which they really are, but you know, it's food, you can take okay, a Okay, so let's talk about anything. the ingredients for the Ewa going first and then we'll move over to our fish. Okay. This is, this is with the assumption that everybody knows how to boil beans, right? But everyone should know how to <laughs> no, boil beans. No, okay. you'll be so surprised. Right. No, not really, actually. Because beans is one of you. I don't know. I think it depends on the kind of beans that you're using as well. Okay. It's not. I don't think everyone has so the same method. What kind of beans is this? It's honey uh, beans. Honey, honey beans. Oloi. Okay. Yes. Yes. So um yeah, boil your beans. Yeah. Really, really soft with a bit of uh, salt. Mm -hmm. If you want to add a bit of pizzazz, put a tiny, tiny little bit of sugar or add a dash of honey. Really. Just to bring out the honey beans. Oh really? To make it sweeter. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, yes. Put onions. Um, let it boil for like literally almost two hours. Once it softens, what I would then do is I start to mash it, but I'll keep an eye on it because I don't want it to burn. Okay. It means you start to mash it, it just starts to turn to like to, yeah, jollof. Yeah. Or like porridge. Jollof are going, that bond taste. Bond taste. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nigeria jollof are going. Okay. <laughs> and then our are uh, going, which is of course is the sauce. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's a very, very straightforward process, but very, very difficult because it can burn. So essentially what we're going to do is in about 10 minutes, mm. we we'll, would um, put the oil That's on the pan, palm oil. quite a lot of palm oil. Okay. Because you don't even need the actual pepper, you just need the sense of that agony feeling. Okay. So we we'll put that in there, we we'll chuck in a lot of oil. I'm going to chop my onions to be sizzle, which essentially means like very fine. Tiny chopped, tiny, finely chopped. Exactly, finely chopped um, onions. Toss that into the really hot oil, mm. and then I will use my dry pepper now. It's, you have to be really careful with dry pepper, because okay. it's really spicy. But then you can actually ask in the market for dry pepper that is not that spicy. Okay. Just, I mean, and then you throw in a whole lot. Okay, so I'll say, for this morning's meal, I'll probably throw in about four tablespoons. That's a lot of pepper. Yes, but the gag is, I'm gonna turn it down with my puree. Which, of course, we have here. Those yes. are tomato puree. Yes. Okay, so it, this, the, the, your, the method for you are going sauce is quite different. Mm, interesting. Yes, it is actually. I can imagine. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Yay, it should right. be fun. And then obviously we'll finish off with crayfish and a bit of seasoning cube and then voila. And then we'll start with this. Now I was going to tell you about deboning fish, but I don't think we have time for that right now. We but do. You do? Okay. Mm. Um, what I find is with fish... I really don't understand why you actually like this kind of fish. I don't like this kind of fish as such. This but is I think it's, people. Yeah, but I think it's better than bottom feeders. I'm not going to bring the tilapia, sorry. Oh my world. Sorry. You <laughs> are something else. Um, okay, apart from hake, and um, the only one I find that is easier to debone is croaker as well. Okay. 
And if coca is not fresh, I don't like coca frozen. Okay. It's just a bit funny. So I'm just helping actually check the beans. Okay, that's all right. Yeah. Um, what I was going to say is to debone your fish, there's so many methods and to be honest, the way I was taught in school mm -hmm. is not what I'm doing right now. Okay. I tried to, you know, do that at home last night to take out all the little f uh, things so and whatnot. People, just in case you're paying attention, when she says school, she actually means culinary school. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I did go to culinary school. She likes school. to throw that in our face. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But um, yes, yeah, so to debone a fish, what I find is you always have to know where the bone is. Yeah. It's not as easy as it looks. Don't you, were, you were, I was with you the last time we tried to debone um, titles and we took out the bone and then when we start eating we still found we some found bones, bones inside, inside yeah. it so it's very very important to be able to work your 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 fish this is a bit frozen because yeah, i yeah that's why it's a bit hard but the, the fish of hake is mm. actually round it's not like flat you know how you have oh, bones like this yeah. it's round it has three bristles oh. so what i do what i find is that's really easy is i tuck my hand under the fillet of the fish inside you'll see it in a bit i tuck my hand inside i literally can yank out the whole thing Wow. Yeah, without even cutting the, the fish apart. So we can't achieve that right now because it's quite frozen. Yes, it's a little yeah. bit so frozen. So we to the frost. Or we can manipulate it if okay. you want. Let's do, let's do something different. So I'm going to cut down the belly of the fish. Okay. Because I want to see the center of the fish. So we're doing this because uh, we're just waiting for our beans to so boil a little. Yes. Yeah, a little more because um, it's getting soft, but it's getting there. It's not there yet, but it's getting it's getting there. there. Yeah. And you have to be very careful because fish literally is one of the messiest things that can break apart and then you just destroy your whole fish and you end up having shredded sardine by the time you're done. Okay. So you want to try and open it but not break the fibers. So but it's funny that this kind of fish actually doesn't have all the, you know, the, um, those body parts. Um, the, the the yeah, I the, took it out. That's why the oh, head is not did. dead. Okay, Look at the head okay, is clean. Uh, okay, I cleaned okay. it up yesterday. Oh, oh I should have okay. shown you how to do exactly. that. I cleaned, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I I'll do that next time. Uh, okay. Oh, I, I actually cleaned it out yesterday. So what I've done now is essentially I've taken one part of my fillet out of this. I've never done this to a fish before. <laughs> never. So this is just pure fillet. I don't think there should be any single bone on this. Okay. There's not one single bone on this. I so what are we doing with this fish? I'm what cutting it into cubes. And then? I'm going to fry it. Just okay. season it very lightly with just salt and a bit of, maybe a bit of cayenne pepper or whatnot. Okay. And then just toss it in the pan and fry it. When I'm going to make it a bit crunchy, like the plantain, because I want it to have that croutony feel. You know croutons are obviously fried bread, but it's yes. crispy. In cubes. <laughs> I learned that this morning, people. Yeah. No, All you right. did it. So just in case you're just joining us, we are making Ewa going with fried plantain and egg croutons people and on your screen are the ingredients while um so right now our beans is cooking we're making use of oloni honey beans this morning yes we are and uh, we're going to make sure that is pretty soft and then mash it up yes good cool and then let's talk about our ingredients for the agony sauce yes for the agony sauce okay you said that the one that i'm making is quite different from what you've seen mm. is that that's what you said yeah um I don't know what you're saying, but I was taught by my mom. Mm. Um, I don't know how authentic the ones that you've had have been, because as we know, it's not a Nigerian dish, is it? Yeah. Agonia is not from Niger. Yeah. Where is it from? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I don't know. Think, well, let me not be wrong. I know it's one from one of those <laughs> Francophone countries. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like them Togo. 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 Yeah, Togo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. my director now is telling me that it's from Togo, actually. <laughs> I actually didn't know. I, yes. To be honest with you, I didn't know. So we're actually cooking, we're you know, giving you a little bit of togo. I didn't even know it was togo. I thought it was cooked or something. But you know the best parts of agony beans. Egg or something, yeah. Eh? To be sincere with you, I really do not enjoy um, agony beans that is being cooked in the confines of your home. I prefer I that. Would. Oh, jeez. Like that agony beans. I would change your mind <laughs> Well, maybe, yeah, maybe you would. <laughs> but you know, you know what I'm talking I'm about. Like, Those roadside there's agony nothing, beans. There's nothing as good as locally cooked, cooked uh, stuff. Like all the germs wow. and like, the food. And <laughs> all the, <laughs> all the, all the dogs, spice it give up. Them, <laughs> give them the messier, the better. Like, come on. We all know that, you know, the worst food is Babe. the best food. <laughs> You're Healthy feeling food me never this helped anybody. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this fish farm generation, you know. All right. <laughs> Hopefully, by the time we are back, we'll be done the boning our fish and then we'll take you through the agoing process and of course our hay croutons but before we come back we are about to show you some amazing collection of arts you'll be thrilled about so you should see this all right so i'm here out in the garden with a hyper realist artist it's called hyper realism right yes and uh, his name is olisa uh, crystal I mean, yeah. and uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning now check this out now these are uh, hyper-realistic 
pieces. I don't want to call them paintings because they're not paintings. They're, not, they're drawings. They're drawings, right? And this, what we're looking at right now was made with pencil and a little bit of charcoal. And that's absolutely amazing, yes, right? Okay, so take us through what it takes to create one of these. Um, it takes a lot of work. Uh, you need a pencil, you need charcoal, you need your eraser. Hmm. And actually these pieces, they really, really take time because hmm. of the details. The detail that has to yes, go into details. every single bit. Because yeah. I, I, like, I'm looking at this right now and I'm saying to myself, how did you capture water? on somebody's face with a pencil you know yeah. that, that I mean how do you even get that kind of detail out it's all lighting shading you know mm. getting darkness from light it creates right, an right. illusion mm. of the water effect you see here yeah and that's why it looks then the form that's why it looks so real mm. because he hyperrealism is all about making a drawing sculpture or painting appear like a hyper uh, like a high definition photograph the, exactly so that's what it's called that's what's yes. called hyper Realism. So this one, you titled this one Hope. Yes, I titled it Hope. And you know, it's um, I can see like all the details, even the detail, the detailing in the hair. Yeah. Like what you did with that. Is this where the charcoal, you, where you needed yes, some yes, charcoal, charcoal to put Then charcoal. eraser for the highlights. Okay, erasers for the highlights. Oh right. Okay, so that's so that it then gives you that white, yes, uh, whitish, yes. um, silver feel yes. of, of it. That's abs It's absolutely amazing what you what you did here. And this one is called Hope. Over here, you've got this one called Temple. Yes. So talk to us about temple. Um, temple is, you know, the body is a temple. I yeah, yeah. So it's just um, about a strong woman embracing her unique qualities and beauty, mm. you know, and also reverencing the body as a temple. Right, right. And I, I can see the details of the hands yes. over here and what you like all the, all the little, little, uh, Skin, the yeah, the skin pores, skin, then the pores, vein, everything, everything yeah. is there, and it's it's really, really, really so uh, detailed. It pops out, and you know, it pops out. Now you said it typically takes like two weeks for yes, you to come up weeks. with with one of these. Yes, two weeks, some three weeks. Like this one, I it was, um, I think two weeks plus. Hmm. You know, just working. I work um, like eight hours a hmm. day. Eight hours a day for two weeks. Yes, for two weeks. Well, that's and a lot of work. Why? Why? So how do you? Okay, go, go ahead. Why it takes so much time is because of the details, as I said before. Yeah. Yeah, the detailing and everything. They, they take time to, mm. you know, achieve. Yeah. So um, of course, over here, I've got. I don't know whether anyone can see this, but I'm just going to go and get it, and bring it forward. This is a beautiful painting of some girl kids or girl yeah. children. Uh, um, talk to us this about is Inyoma. Inyoma. Yes. What does know, it mean a, in Igbo? A true friend. True friend. Good friend. Right. So it's all about the bond of friendship and, you know, the joy of having a friend around. I mean, no one is an island, yeah? Hmm. So we all need friends. And Look at the details of the plaited hair uh, that you yeah. did, did there. This also took about two weeks for you to... Uh, I, this one it. took, uh, yes, two weeks. Hmm. Two weeks. Is there any charcoal here or is it all pencil? Yes, charcoal. Okay. The charcoal, the dark side. Okay, the dark side. The that, hair, dark, yeah. the eye, the pupil, rather then some part of the skin too. Mm. But the rest, graphite, that's pencil. Pencil, everything, yeah. what you do with the pencil and all of that. So obviously you studied art, right? No. Nope. You didn't. I, I didn't. <laughs> wow, it's, you know, you know these are, this is the kind of thing that I like to hear. So someone who didn't go to school for this, uh, you probably studying something else. What did you study? Um, I'm currently studying infotech. Infotech. Yes. Uh, but you just, um, if one way or the other, stumbled into this uh, and you've been doing it. I started um, two years ago. I hmm. started drawing two years ago and, you know, self-taught. Self-taught. So everything we're seeing here is yes. self-taught. So it's yes. not like you know all the theories no, of no, art no. and they didn't teach you how to shade or anything no, like that. And even some of us who were taught how to shade, <laughs> you know, we've never really done anything that looks so good. Thank wow, you. really, really amazing. And you've been doing this for just two years. Yes. Wow. This is the third year. That's, that's a great talent. Now, of course, I've got another one over here. I don't know if the camera can get it. Uh, just talk to us about this one briefly. Um, this is back against the wall. Hmm. Back against the wall. Yes. Hmm. Um, it's a very emotional piece, just like hope. Hmm. Um, it's actually it's this this depicts a time where you know there's um, a, a great sadness, like or like, or like a challenge. Yes, a yeah. challenge. Yes, hmm. and he's going through something, as you can see. Yeah, that's yeah. why he's so sad, and. Also, this piece, also this hope, mm. is just like um, a sequel to it. 
Oh, right, right. Okay. So, so this is almost like, I mean, you, 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 when you say back against the wall, it's almost reminiscent of Holy Thursday, which is today. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Where, you know, the Garden of Gethsemane and all the all the stress yes, and the all stress the great, and great drops of blood and all of that. So that's what we have here, that, that agony yes. that, that, you, that you depicted. And all, that, that's obvious from what you see. I can see very dark areas in this. Yes, I use charcoal. It's darker than the others. Yeah, I use charcoal for it. Hmm. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Like, yeah. you know, really, really good. And really, really good stuff. How can I here. find... Okay, we've got one more. Just one more. A few seconds and then... Over here, this is the African woman. Yeah. I don't know if the camera can see it. Yeah. The African woman. Mm. It's just about culture, tradition, you know, Africa. Yeah. Really, really amazing. Thank you so much, Olisa Maker, for coming and joining us this morning. Hyper-realist... Yeah. Uh, Hyper-realistic... Hyper-realistic artist. Hyper-realistic Hyper artist joining us this morning. How do I find you on Instagram? Um, you, uh, I'm, uh, my handle is at crystal underscore adwaka. That's C-R-Y-S-T-A-L underscore A-D-U-A-K-A. Also Twitter, crystal underscore adwaka. Wow, really, really amazing. And he's got some exhibitions coming up as well. So check him out on Instagram and you can probably uh, and, find And him. also, I also take commissions. Commissions you know, and stuff. Yeah. All right. Welcome back. It's Wake Up Nigeria. And of course, with me here in the kitchen this morning is Chef Ayola of mm -hmm. AY Soaps. Mm -hmm. And this morning, she's making Ewa going with fried plantains and egg croutons. And on your screen right there are the ingredients while she runs through them once again. And... Uh, palm oil. Yeah. For our, I got, for our going sauce. Our going sauce, yes. yeah. Yes. Um, we have our dry pepper, cayenne pepper, not too spicy. We have a little bit of crayfish, which we're going to wash. Yeah. We have um, a bit of tomato puree to bring out the heat from the going sauce, if you're not like a loony, like me with chili. <laughs> <laughs> you have a chili head, like I literally love my chili. All right, so this morning we are working with honey beans, which is popularly called oloni. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, which is cooking up already. It's almost... It's basically almost there. Everybody. Almost there, yeah. yeah. So we're going to mash it up, yeah. And then for our going sauce, we are heating up our palm oil and Look at this finely chopped onions. <laughs> She's psyching me, by the way. It's not as fine as you like it. You know, she just making it. No, but really, I'm not psyching. Better. I ain't psyching. I can make it smaller. I'm just rushing. Do we really need this very hot? It's very hot. I very think, hot. I think we need to add a bit of oil. Is that, is that, is a that little more oil. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, you talked about like the, you have to use a lot of oil that when you're oil working is really, really, really. So, so okay. what I'm going to do is I'm just going to so add wait, a little let me bit more. Put this here, and, and I'm just going to do that for you. All right. So how healthy, though, is this oil, like we're bleaching it? It's not. Mm. But then who said, you know, come on, you have to live a little. Yeah. Things is healthy. Right. When you look is. on the bright side, True. you're doing half healthy, half unhealthy. Mm. But I'm trying to think of a way that we can substitute um, oil. You can never get it. Yeah, you Don't can't, actually. Yourself. Exactly. So, so yeah, oil. yeah. So if you're not using palm oil, there's no need. But you never know. I might be the person to come up with a recipe that you can actually get without what? using palm oil. I know that when you do, this. when you do, you um, wake up Nigeria will be the first show you come show of us. Of course, you know, you, know, you know now. The love <laughs> is right here. <laughs> All right. So the, right, what are we doing next quickly? Okay, um, that is hot. Yeah. Even though it's not as hot as I'd like it to be because mm. we just added a bit more oil. Yeah. I'll just go ahead and actually start to show the viewers the process. Yeah, Normally, so I would add get... a... I'll add a bit more onions than that. That's okay. okay you know what? We're just going to do it fast. I'm okay. going to cut onions roughly. Okay. So after the onions, what are we putting next? The cayenne. So where's the rest of the cayenne? Um, the chili it's powder. Here. So we are putting in um, our dried pepper. Yes. Yeah. And as you can see, that is rustling up because mm. the heat is quite hot. Oh, I'm loving that. I love the color. That color looks really, really beautiful. Oh, nice. Beautiful. I love a that. A good red. So we are um, putting in our pepper quickly. And yeah, then you can, what's you can, going you can in put next? in the pepper. Okay, so what's going in next? After the pepper, we'll stir that up a little bit. Okay. And then we'll put in a little bit of tomato puree after five minutes because you want the, the, the granules of the cayenne okay. to form. Yes. Okay. So um, let me just add a bit of onions into that. Yeah. So we are working with a lot of onions and a lot of palm oil. Ooh, I'm loving that color. <laughs> no, okay. really, I am actually. I ain't washing you. I love it. <laughs> Good Beautiful. stuff. So um, what I'm going to do now, essentially, okay, mm. I'll, wait, I'll just wait for that and do that later. So the crayfish is the last ingredient we are yes. putting in. Yes. So I'm going to...
So I'm just checking out my uh, uh, brand new... Your yeah, brand new what? VR exactly. uh, VR. You don't even gear. know what it is, do you? <laughs> you, don't know what, you don't know how to use this. It's thing. a virtual reality hard it's head, headset. It's for millennials. Let's leave it Where millennials. you're sticking your, your mobile millennials phone. Millennials are winning this. Just put it Are you a millennial? Yeah. Well, I'm not asking, I'm not claiming to be one. Yeah, so but... somebody's going to win this today, <laughs> and uh, Mike is going to be giving the instructions uh, later on. But it's okay. very nice. It's, uh, mm -hmm. It can transform your life. If you're just life. tuning in, let's just <laughs> say you've missed quite a bit on the show. Yeah. But not to worry, we're still right we're here. We're still here for the next 45 minutes. Yes, where you're going to be having the right dose of uh, entertainment. <laughs> entertainment. Stuff is happening in the kitchen right now. Yes, indeed. Uh, Mike is causing some havoc as usual. <laughs> <laughs> but believe me, yeah, we've got Mike, lots of interesting things. Mike, why do you look like they, as they, honestly, they look like they can't wait for you to leave. Like... <laughs> Photo session in the kitchen, when, eh? Whenever we are making Photo Mike's session. kind of food, you, you don't find kitchen. Mike in the you kitchen. You don't like it. But you know I'm fasting, you know I'm fasting. Fasting, you yeah. 40 days. Which fast? I've gone like 12 days. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Fasting. You all know, you all know. Oh, I'm fasting, y'all. Yeah. Even the makeup artists <laughs> realize yeah. that Mike's cheeks have been. Yeah, I'm fasting. You guys are having your argument going on. We, we're moving on. And uh, my name is Yomi Ope. Don't and I'm forget. Titi Lyo Oinso. Please remember, stream with us. We're live online now. TVcontinental.tv is the website. Then Facebook at TVC Connect. Please send in your comments, your contributions. Tell us how great we look yeah you can Thank also you. Uh, download our uh, oh goodness. i like it Thank oh my you. goodness uh, <laughs> vain much uh, yeah <laughs> you can download <laughs> the tvc connect app mm. from any apps um, uh, app store yes. right now the apple i store and of course the uh, google play store as well Quite a bit coming up, actually. The book chat's going to be really interesting. We have a children's book author, Olubumi uh, Abodari Talabi. She's joining us later to talk on her book, Why Do You Wash Your Hands? Now, this mm. book is in three different, four different languages. Wow. English, Yoruba, Hausa, and Igbo, mm. all in one book. Amazing stuff. Yeah. Can't and uh, Aya Emotion will be giving us a musical performance. Yes, indeed. DJ Neptune is our celebrity guest on the show today. And make sure you join us as we catch up with him. What, was, was that Running Man that DJ Neptune was doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> running, running Man. man for, it, it, this it, one. It, hey, yes. MM. It's running a Man. Variation of it. What? A different variation. Running Man. So you running, man running Man is a particular step. Bobby Brown. Ah, you know, yeah. you know, she, I, it seems like ah, she didn't know it. You know what you watch MC Hammer so does this. I never liked was, MC Hammer. She was MC Hammer. born in 1994. <laughs> 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 so MC Hammer retired by that time. Yeah. Hey, okay, wow, just, okay, just just off. Just <laughs> yeah, very, he's giving me a quickly. smile. Yeah, quickly. Well, I was trying to give the instruction. So we'll post some part of the video, okay. which we did. You have to repost it okay. and tell us um, what uses of VR, which, which one really um, fascinates you. Mm. Repost the video. And okay. uh, you have to repost it, and likes would count, likes, and so it's going to be very, quite very easy. Repost the video, which we will put up on social media. And yeah. this can work and with any it. cell phone. Yeah, probably. So yeah, uh, most probably. Uh, yeah, it can work. Yeah, it can work with Apple and uh, Android. Yeah. Right. So yes, so it can work. This is the future, actually. It, yeah. it, it is now. Yeah. You see, we we're, we're talking about how it helps in military and all of that. I was. We spoke about police this morning. A lot of places you don't need men there if you had cameras and all this kind of thing. Someone sitting mm. down somewhere, it's you watching. know. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is this is interesting. It. This interesting. Is it. Yeah. Very interesting. So yeah, so uh, look out for the video yeah. mm. and post it. Use the ha right hashtags mm. and mm. follow the right uh, the right handles. handles. Mike Mesikeno and Digital Space Connect. Mike Mesikeno. Yes, sir. If you follow Titi, maybe she could put in a word for you. <laughs> I don't know. Follow your me. Your me definitely. Yeah. Your me's word will definitely help. <laughs> Welcome back. It's time for book chat and a special book has just hit the presses and I'm so pleased to introduce uh, this amazing book. Uh, Why do you wash your hands by Ulubumi Abodari Talavi. Now she's right here on the couch with us and it's great to have you back. Yes, thank you for inviting me back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so when it comes to children's books, I, I feel like uh, there, there's not been enough effort in the industry before now. And uh, when you were here last, you brought a diary of a toddler. Yes. 
and it blew my mind. So you've come out with this new piece yes. uh, and it's a special edition. Yes, it is. So please talk to us about it. Tell okay, us about so um, I'm really pleased. This is the first public unveiling of Why Do You Wash Your Hands? Okay. Um, it's my new book. It's the fourth Clever Clogs book to come out. Okay. And it's all about why it is important to wash your hands. Okay. And it's told as a story. A little girl observes grandma washing her hands before cooking and she asks the question, why, why do you wash your hands? Okay. And the book is an exploration of all the different times when you should wash your hands, whether it's before you do something mm. or after you, you do, do something. something. And it's all the more special mm. because um, it's published in four languages at the same time. So the book is simultaneously in English, Hausa, Igbo, and Yoruba. All in the same book. All in the same book. It's a limited edition. It's yes. a special collector's piece. Mm. Um, after this one has come out, then we're going to launch them separately. The English version, Hausa version, Yoruba version, Igbo version. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Now, I've been able to flip through and it's quite uh, simple to understand, very colorful, uh, very animated. Uh, but then, you know, there are actually um, a lot of books that are in different languages, yeah. different Nigerian languages, but not in, to, in, in my not simultaneously. View, not simultaneously, yes. exactly. Then there was something else I saw at the back. Yes, stickers. Stickers, a sticker book. <laughs> yes, okay. you know, hanging out with kids made me realize how much they love and appreciate stickers. Okay. I noticed that teachers uh, give it to them as a reward or swim instructors, they do something really well and then they give them a sticker and they're so proud of the stickers. I thought, okay, you like stickers let's put stickers in the next book mm, mm. so this book once again overachieving we have it in english the stickers are in english they're in hausa they're okay. in Igbo, and they're in so, yoruba so i'm hoping i can get a shot of these stickers so now i'm looking at the stickers and they're stars yes um so i i okay so for those i don't know i did uh, uh primary school in the uk and the star meant i had done something great yes. so is that what you're trying to achieve Yes. With this a reward system. Yes. So it's I have washed my hands. Okay. Um, or have you washed your hands okay. in the different languages? And the idea is that when you do something like that, like you've gone to the toilet, you wash your hands, or you've, mm -hmm. you know, you you've played outside, you come back in and you wash your hands, mm. then you can get a little a little stuff to okay. show that I have washed my hands. All right, so I, I know that this must have been a lot of work, especially yes. for the translators. <laughs> it took over a year. Okay. <laughs> so, the, okay, so translating to another language uh, means that you have to bring in professionals to Absolutely. do that. Absolutely. Uh, so are there any uh, professionals that you would like to mention that helped you with so, the translation? So there are professional translation, uh, translation agencies okay. um, and individuals mm. and um, the... I want to actually particularly mention two of the translators and okay. thank them publicly. Dibola, okay. um, thank you so much. She did the Yoruba um, as a uh, translation, um, as, as an act of love. Okay. Um, and um, she refused payment. Aww. And Haruna as well. He did the Hausa translation as well, completely Aww. FOC. So Dibola and Haruna, thank you so much for helping me bring this <laughs> dream to reality. Okay. <laughs> It was right, as if then. it would never happen, and finally, you it know, came out. at least we have the publisher's copy in, in your hands. I, I can see a mention of an orphanage and, and a school here. Yes. Uh, were they part of the inspiration behind the book? Yes, absolutely. So there's this, um, no child wants to be in an orphanage. However, life happens, and... Um, we thank God for people who step up and look after the unfortunate, look after people who have nobody to look after themselves. And one of the most organized, cleanest, neatest orphanages that I've come across okay. so far in Lagos is Living Fountain oh, okay. Orphanage. And it is so, it is so clean. <laughs> and the children are so loved Aww. and so happy and so healthy and they are found very, very good homes, thoroughly vetted homes. And I was really, really impressed with the staff and the team that manage uh, Living Fountain Orphanage um, that I decided that I would dedicate the, the book, book to, them. to them. It's beautiful. Yeah. I can see um, some kind of guide here. Yes. There are circles here with, okay, in the Yoruba version it says, is this? Uh, oh, it says... 
Omi, omi meaning water, yes. and then Oshe, meaning Oshe. soap, yeah. and then Omi again. So these are the steps to effectively washing your hands. Okay. Water, soap, A and water. then water again, okay. and then you scrub, so fodder. Uh, for, no, for da da. <laughs> for da da. Yes, for da da. Yes. And, for then, da. Then, and then for me, sure, meaning for me rinse. Sure. Yeah. Exactly. And then you can't mean dry it up, you know, use okay. something to dry your hands. All right. I've got loads to read in this. And I, I like the fact that it's possibly going to teach children different languages as well. So yes. um, I, when I first of all opened it, I thought, okay, I'll just skip to the language I understand. Um, but then for children to actually be able to identify, uh, for instance, water in Hausa, water in Igbo, water in mm -hmm. Yoruba, um, as they're reading along means that, you know, they'll probably be able to communicate a little in, a little, in yes. each language. Um, a couple of parents mentioned to me that um, they're having challenges with um, encourage, well, with getting their children to speak um, the, their languages and stuff like that. And so what I noticed was that very simple books with illustrations and the words help children understand what things are, even if it's not their native language. Okay. So that was another encouragement as a, as okay. a parent guide, a parent aid All right, to learning then. a different language. So now this must have been uh, created, first of all, out of love, but then as, as there must have been an end game for this. So was there a, a, a hole you were trying to fill? Was there a problem we were trying to solve? Because we've talked about hand washing, but you couldn't have just sat down and said, you know what, I'm going to write about hand washing. You won't believe hand washing is one of my, um, it's something I've been passionate about for, for many years. And um, I remember a project I did way back, maybe almost eight, nine years ago. Mm. It was a, a project at a hospital, but for some reason I felt inspired to write, wash your hands okay. <laughs> on the back of the t-shirt. And even though it was not a hand washing project. Okay. So I'm trying to say that I've observed that by washing hands, we can prevent so many diseases, save ourselves money, Fantastic. you know, prayer time. Mm. You know, if we, would, <laughs> if we would just take the time to please wash our hands. Um, I know sometimes there's an issue with um, availability of running water, water and soap, course, course. but when soap is available, when running water is available, please, 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 please wash your hands. Wash your hands. And that's the message coming from Olubumi Abodari Talabi. Why do you wash your hands? An amazing sticker book in four languages. Thank you so much for coming to show. You're very welcome. Us. Thanks for the invitation. Now, Wake Up Nigeria continues. We have Ayo in motion right here in the studio. Yes, indeed. There's the man from New York. Nigerian doing big things over in New York. And he's joining us this morning for a special performance. Now, Ayo, hey, thank you. you for joining us, man. Thanks for having and, me. And uh, I saw the video earlier and I was like, okay, I don't know how you guys stopped that traffic <laughs> and did what you did, but it was absolutely amazing. We didn't ask for permission. We just did it. You just did we it. We just did it. So you had like a few minutes and you just got on the streets. We, we, were, we were in motion. <laughs> wow. In motion never You could stopped. have gotten arrested though. Right. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, you have you know, a, a unique and a dynamic um, uh, genre that, that you've introduced and you're doing you've done something recently in Ibadan as well Yeah, so basically peculiar mess is a video we shot in New York City yeah. But it's an, on a new uh, EP and the latest song is called Ifemelu Americana Which we shot in Ibadan because I like to juxtapose cities Yeah, so this one you see the, the video is more New York But the new video is Ibadan because we're trying Ibadan. to be global, okay. you know so What was the dressing like in Ibadan? In Ibadan one? <laughs> you know, I think we showed more of the scenery. We actually went to Bodija and I remember yeah. I was trying to shoot in Bodija and the forces were like Who are you? Where are you from? And we just Talk them out of it and yeah. shoot. So. No, but you can speak your Urbana, so of it's course, not like yeah, yeah. yeah. So they didn't, they didn't shake you too much. We shake, we shake them back. How about that? <laughs> nice one. So uh, you're going to be performing for us uh, today. We don't have that much time. No worries. I, I actually wanted to talk to you a little bit more, but it's fine. Okay. Uh, it's fine. You ready for us? Always, always. Let's do it. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Wake up, Nigeria continues now. Imohiosen, Patrick, popularly known as DJ Neptune, is a multiple award-winning DJ. Yes, indeed. And he started his career, a music, professional music career, in back, back in 2001. Wow. 18 yeah. years. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, he started as a DJ with a wide sense and high taste for good music. Uh, he's able to uh, keep, uh, you, you know, listeners listening. And he was on the radio yeah. uh, for a while, <laughs> uh, a popular radio uh, station. And, of course... 
He's been doing it for 18 years. It's wow. become a household name, y'all. Yeah. DJ Neptune. <laughs> okay, so first, how did you get a name of a planet? I'm, I'm just wondering. Like, you just took over a whole planet, and everybody's wondering. Um, uh, to be honest, um, when I started DJing, I didn't, I didn't have a, a stage name, and that was, I was two years into my career. But back then, there was this funny set. Not funny, like this crazy set I was used to doing. Um, it was a song produced by the Neptunes, that's Pharrell oh, and his right, band, right, yeah, right, right. for Buster Rhyme. And Buster Rhyme did give them a shout out on the record. So me being crazy back then, I would hold that pad, scratch, flip the record and all yeah. that stuff. So they said that these particular guys have been to my um, events. And uh, this day they came to this particular party. So when they walked in and they saw me, yeah. I was like, ah, this Neptune's guy is here again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I heard that word, I was like, yeah. damn, like, yeah. so these people already yeah. like, know me. Connecting with, you with exactly. that name. Exactly, so yeah. I went back home, did my search, made sure there was no DJ in Africa with that name. I took out the S and boom. All right, yeah. beautiful. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's a sweet name, I have to say. A <laughs> sweet you. name. And yeah, and it's memorable. recognizable, yeah. Yeah, yeah. memorable name. Thank but, you. you know, it's not just about the name. It's about the fact that when you were scratching, the, there was something you were doing to the music. Yeah. Not, a lot of people, not a lot of people know how uh, music works. Yep. And you, you sort of uh, found out how to make people bump to the music. Exactly. But what was that process like? How did you get there? Um, okay, my journey started in 1999. Um, I'd always been a crazy lover of music. And growing up, um, I knew I was going to be an entertainer, but I didn't know I was going to be DJing. Okay. You know, so I started off singing. And um, dad wasn't happy, you know. So Your he, dad was yeah, not happy about this. Nah, this is not happening in my house, no way. <laughs> so I had to pipe low. Mm. And then I was opportune to attend um, an end of year party that was put together by a friend. Okay. And that was when I saw a DJ for the first time wow. in front of his tables, mixing, flipping fingers. And I was there like, Mm. Is this magic? Wow. <laughs> you know, wow. so I went home, I thought about it, and um, I started doing my research, mm. and I found out that, okay, you know what, I'm going to be more comfortable mm. being a DJ, and mm. boom. Okay. Mm. Well, you've done some amazing work. I mean, uh, the biggest acts in Africa uh, have, have you on their track, or you, you have them on your track, exactly. and stuff like that. But you're one of the DJs that first started making actual albums yep. that people can buy or download and, and, and stuff like that. Yeah. That was a different kind of process for you, because initially it was, oh, I have a birthday party, let me call it DJ. <laughs> you know how we used to do it way, way back now then. Now DJs have albums. But then you, you, you're one of those who created this career yeah. out of not just being a DJ, DJ. that someone can hire, yeah. but a DJ that makes music. Yeah. How was that transition? Um, like I said, I started off with singing, you know, so it wasn't that difficult for me. And um, pioneers like DJ Jimmy Jads were already thrown through that part, and yeah. I, I did my research and uh, I was like, you know what, you're capable of doing this. Mm. I mean, you have a good knowledge for music, give it a shot. So um, my first song then I remember was in 2009 with MI mm. and um, then MI was like everywhere. So we did uh, the one three original version and then a year after I did the remix with the late Dag Green and Nato C and from there it's just been singles after singles after singles till I um, decided to release my debut album last year titled yeah. Greatness. Greatness, yeah, Greatness. I, I saw that. That was amazing. That's Thank a you. really good name to use as well. I don't know, you have something about titling <laughs> things really yeah. nicely. Do you get help with that or? Um, with <laughs> that particular word, I didn't get help from nobody. In fact, I, 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 already, I already gave the album a different name. Well, I was okay. going to give the album a different name, but this was just me at home laying down after a very stressful day and then that name just started ringing in my head mm. greatness greatness wow. you've had a, you've had a great career everything <laughs> about you has been great you're about to release this project just name it greatness <laughs> but then you can't well uh, i'm gonna say you must have had some kind of mentorship in dj because yes. you said you just saw a guy scratch it's not yeah. as if you, you you know you went on youtube and started learning right i mean internet there was even way expensive so there was no way yeah, <laughs> yeah but um yeah i, I did uh mentor on that dj douglas okay. is, is moved on um he's based in the uk right now okay. so then what happened was i would come back from school i was still in secondary school then i'll come back from school drop my bags mm. and then go to his studio okay. it was somewhere around egbeda mm. you know, and just watch him play you know on the study and i'm a, I'm a fast learner so i was just there just standing 
watching him, watching picking him. one or two things, and I'll go home and just visualize them in my head. Mm -hmm. um, then this particular day, when I got the opportunity to get on the decks with, at the party, and uh, he was playing, and he had to go use the restroom. Okay. So it took a while for him to get back. <laughs> and me being a sharp guy, I already knew what, <laughs> what song would go next and yeah. what to do. I just summoned the courage, went up there, flipped the record, wow. and he ran out like, what happened? I'm like, uh, bro. Yeah. I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that was it. That was it. Now, of wow. course, talk to us about uh, your working with David O, because, you know, I know he's busy. He's usually pretty busy all over the world and always in the studio doing something. Yeah. But then this collaboration was something that became a hit. So talk to us about that. that okay, work. so uh, myself and David making music, I don't know, there's this synergy. It's always seamless, because this is the third time we're collaborating together from So Nice in 2015. To secret agenda with him and Fino on my debut album, and now to demo. Mm. You know, so we had spoken about working on a new track, and um, this particular day, I weren't even meant to record. It was Skills' section with him. Yeah. You know, but I went to his house with Skills because I was at Skills' house when he told me, "Oh, I need to go see David." I'm like, "Oh yeah, let's go. Let's just go chill." Yeah. You know, so they were done with their section. We we're all still in the studio, and David was like, "Bro, we will just do that jam now." Now, yeah. like, ah, yeah. okay. Let's go. And luckily for me, Sperush Beat was in the studio, and boom, that's how we just... Wow, 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 wow. wow. I think we should yeah. uh, we, we just get a feel of that song right, right now. You put it on your neck. On first your time, you know how they say there's always the first time for everything. I you beg you. Yeah, you wear snake for neck. It looks like plastic though. Like yeah. that, that's real. That's wow. real? That, that snake weighed 16 kg. And 16? I yes. And no. I shot with that snake for um, over an hour. Oh my goodness. You know, so it was, you know, I would get tired and I please. Was it awake or did oh, they put it to sleep? She was awake. Yeah, uh, she. Yeah, okay. and, and, and yeah. Awake. <laughs> she, <laughs> she was awake. Oh my uh, God. What type of snake was it? An, an Abino Python. And mind you, we had three snakes on set. Because huh. there was one dangling around somewhere yeah. on top of my okay, head. So can we and stop the, this snake talk now? Yeah. Please, please. Please. It's uh, freaking yeah. me out. <laughs> I'm freaking the whole of Nigeria right now. Ugh. Oh wow! It's just, okay. it's the video was shot in London, so you, I mean, it was. I mean, it's a, it's a hit. I mean, lots of people are, have seen the video. I think uh, yeah. probably several hundred thousands. Yeah, um, yeah it's about to eat um, about five hundred thousand views on YouTube, mm. and then since release, the song has done over two million streams. Wow. on um, streaming platform as well. So thank you guys for streaming my song. Aww. Keep streaming. Aww, amazing. <laughs> Very nice. Amazing well work. done, DJ thank Neptune. You. Well, so we're going to reward you for something. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, yeah. In the kitchen. So mm. we've we, we got, chef has we, been we usually have Yummy, uh, like something <laughs> special. <laughs> Did you just rub your tummy? Yeah, because I'm hungry. Wow. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> I've not seen that in a long time, actual <laughs> rubbing of the tummy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, we, we hope you, you, you like what uh, Chef Ayala would make for us. Uh, I, I, look, I look forward All to right, that. Let's uh, take a walk. All right. Okay. DJ Neptune in the building. Hello. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Good so, morning. DJ Neptune, Iron Motion. Hey, pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Same nice here, bro. to meet you. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And Ayo, thanks amazing. for joining us. Thank you for having well. me. Thank you. All hey, right. Well so, you Chef oh, Ayala is pleasure. still busy, of course. <laughs> yeah. And um, here we have. Ewa going. With a splash. Yes. A splash too with a splash. You look like a gas man. Splash of sauce. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, it's what? a delicious We have splash Ewa and their going sauce. Okay. And then we have fried hake. So basically, um, filleted fish. So yeah. no bones at it's all. And I'm just cutting into small pieces. <laughs> but it's better when it's still filleted. Is, yeah, I'm trying to drop actually, on my yeah, swag. Yeah. I don't know, like... Yeah. Yeah. The plantain is raining on our parade this morning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We're going to get a hang of it. Okay, hey. I'll, I'll get... It's almost done. Plantain, so while the plantain is still, you know, almost ready, let's uh, see if we can taste the agoin splash. Yeah. Okay. Right there. So I was telling... I was asking Ayo earlier how they stopped traffic in New York. Okay. Uh, <laughs> they didn't take permission. They just jumped on the road you know, and started dancing. Don't ask for permission. Ask for forgiveness. <laughs> really? <laughs> that, they didn't sue you guys? No, I, I think they were vibing. 
And plus, oh. it was a peculiar mess. So yeah. Okay. Out. All right. Then. <laughs> but I, I would have thought the cameras would have been like a, a giveaway. You know? No. So you know actually what happens when you're shooting in New York? People actually stop and start watching you. Oh. Okay. So you're like true, a spectacle, yeah. true, and then true. they start dancing. They even want to be in the video. It's more tourist attraction for them. Yeah. Please. Okay. So have a taste. Have a taste. Have a taste. Oh, look at that shot right there. Nice. Looks nice. Goodness. Some of that air. Oh, it's not too spicy. Some ghetto food. Like it. What do you love think? It. I love. Nice. Still eating. Still is eating. Is it really spicy? Well, or it's not like well, over, is it overbearing no, and spicy? Or no, it's not too spicy? No. They look like um, they, they... This like is my it. thing. When food is good, you go quiet. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, <laughs> not talking. No yeah. Problem. I'm just like, no, yes. Not too much talk. And no. yeah. don't have any fear. If you want some more fish, like there's no bones. There shouldn't be any bones anyway. So okay. mm. you can so just chop the fish So she had this whole on. deboning session today. She mm. deboned the fish oh, in wow. one very wow. delicate That's way. That's a lot of work. I haven't had a work in a long time. safe for kids as well. Oh my God. Yeah, exactly. I love the cubing of the fish. Amazing if stuff. they're planting is brown brown. If I can guarantee it's cooked, but it's not brown brown, would you would you eat it? <laughs> let's, make it let's make it brown. Let's, let's make, make it brown. Let's anyway. make it brown. But while that is going on, a big thank you to our friends over at Homely NG for the kitchen accessories. Yes, indeed. Thank you. And of course, for La, you know we love you. Thank you for the hairstyling. We appreciate you. Uh, there's a lot of people to thank as well. All the performers today. Yeah. All the it was a big show. Um, Huge show. We had a fabulous show. Today. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Thanks for having thank me. You. Thank you, Ayo Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. And, and yeah, for feeding awesome. us too. Yeah. Uh, Chef Ayo. Yo, this is what we do, man. This is our this job. Is what we do. We you can be our in-house DJ. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just I'm here tomorrow. Just put you somewhere in the back. Bring, bring one of your tables. Just come and live in us. Yeah, yeah, every Sunday morning we'll feed you. I'm performing as needed. As long as I have this every morning, I'm good. Pay me in beans. I like that. Friday edition of the show is going to be big. It's a public holiday. So we're going to have something special for you. And Friday's our game. Days. Yes. <laughs> Make sure you She's going to trademark that very soon. I've already recorded it. It's on APTN. <laughs> oh, Those wow, understand okay. what that is. Um, we, we've got so much more for you tomorrow morning. 6 a.m. Bye-bye.